is going on, my friends? Hold up a sec. This, this, this doesn't sound right. Hang on. All right, there we go. That should be working a little bit better. In this video, we will be covering both skip animation and filtered auto release. Now, both of these are VIP settings. If you are not currently a VIP member, I'll have a video on how to get that in the top right. Here's where you'll find them in the iPogo settings. Just another set of quick and easy toggles. In order to best demonstrate how the skip animation setting works, I decided to catch every single Gen 6 100% that's currently available. Here they are. Even Calfecki, French exclusive only. Pretty sick. Somehow mine's from Germany though. Not really sure about that. And Noibat, who takes 400 freaking candies to evolve. That's not gonna happen in the near future. So anything besides Noibat that we can evolve, we're going to add a third move and get it through the evolutions. I didn't actually play the Kalos region through DS. Um, I had gone away to college at that point, so you know my Pokemon career kind of <laughs> dropped off. Joined a frat, you know what happens. But we back. These guys are pretty sick. Don't really know that much about them. Obviously, Froki and Greninja are my favorite out of the starters. Like Quilladin, I don't even. What is that? I'm probably not saying it right. That's fine. This guy, this guy's pretty sick. Yeah, there he is. Look at that. Nice. He's got like a nice beard on him. That's pretty cool. We're just doing these all in uh, Pokedex order. And yeah, there he is. Pretty sick. Roar. <laughs> Alright, so as you can see, it takes a while to get through all of the evolution screens. But if you click this setting on, you can do exactly what setting is called and skip all the animations. So we're going to go ahead and give this guy a new move. Bam. I like it. Fire Psychic's pretty cool combo. Boom! Don't have to wait for those anymore. Look, we'll, I'll show you again. Boom! So, if you guys are like me, and you have a pool of Pokemon that you've collected and have enough candies to evolve, but don't want to sit there through all of the screens, you'd rather be doing something else, you can turn this setting on, and it's, it's really easy. Obviously we got El Frog right here. Caught him in Madrid, so can't be can't be just Greninja, it's it's El Frog. And since he's my top pick out of this generation of starters, we're gonna actually give him some cool moves. I'm not really sure Hydro Pump Surf has, you know, better spam, but I think we're gonna get rid of it. Air Lace, cool. That's like an anime move, so that's pretty sick. We get a dark oh there it is cool this is done I'm not touching it ever again up next we got bundle B this thing is it's pretty cool as the bundle B but honestly diggers B kind of kind of creeps me out a little bit I don't really know why but like he's got his little hands on his belly there and then his ears are more hands I don't know he's he's kind of weird looking Fletchling, this one's pretty cool. Give him a charge. Uh, wait a second. So, somehow I forgot to collect enough candies to get this evolved all the way. It's kind of annoying. Fletchender. Whatever, we'll have to add him on later. We have both the male and female little Leos. You know, I, I couldn't really justify picking one over the other for the video. Gotta, gotta represent both genders, you know? Speaking of which, I should have done the female one first. Shame on me. 
There she is. Look at her. You go, girl. All right, so that wraps up our evolutions. Obviously, you couldn't get this one all the way through. You guys will see that later. The skip animations also work with egg hatching. So if you've got nine eggs, you can turn it on and it'll just skip through all the animations for those too. Moving right along, now we were going to be talking about the auto release feature, which is actually one of the newest features that iPoco has added for VIPs. The, the other newer one is the one tap Team Rocket, but I already talked about that. So, I've had the Virtual Go Plus on the whole time that we were doing the evolutions, so it seems that there's nothing around to catch to actually display it with. Oh, there we go. I don't know what that was, but the way the auto release works is to start, if, if your Go Plus picks up a shiny, which mine, praise the RNG gods, frequently does, um, that you don't have to worry about that. The, the auto release will not release shinies. It's built into the code. You're fine. You don't have to trip. I've actually had the auto release on and picked up a Go Plus shiny and it was fine. I don't have any clips of that for you, but I promise don't worry about the shinies. Aside from that, anything under the 90% IVs will get auto deleted. So it will only keep the stuff that's 90% or better, regardless of whether or not it's shiny, it will keep the shinies. Even if it's a 0% shiny, it'll keep it. But for non-shiny stuff, only over 90% is what it'll keep, and it will not auto-release anything that is like a costume. So if it's an event Pokemon like a Pikachu, or the upcoming Cub Chew coming out for the December event, it won't auto release those even if they're under 90 percent you'll have to go in by hand and let those go yourself but it also will not work with shadow pokemon just so you know this feature works both with the go plus whether you have a physical one or you're using ipoga's virtual one and it also works um, when you catch stuff by hand Obviously that just disappeared because I had BNS on, but so this is a under 90% whooper. You can see right there, and it's not shiny. So after I throw a ball at it and catch it, it'll just get auto-released and I won't have to do anything to it. Boom. So basically you're just throwing a ball at candy when you have this setting on. It's pretty cool, but if you're doing other stuff besides your Go Plus catching, you might want to turn it off because that little pop-up gets kind of annoying as you saw at the beginning of the video. This one was a lot longer because I covered two settings instead of just one, but I hope you found it helpful. It would do me a favor if you could like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.